TMA. Hope you had a great week. Welcome back. I'm Bella. And I'm Jay Sean. Who's excited for football? That's right. Friday Night Lights is back. MA Bears varsity football squares off against McClymonds High School. Come on over and cheer on your Bears. It's always a fun time. 12th Man is back, and tonight is a blackout. So dress in all black and cheer on your Bears. And before the big game, come out to the pool deck this Friday, September 24th, at lunch to watch your varsity girls water polo team compete against Heritage High School to open up the annual Amanda McDonald Girls Water Polo Tournament. Bring your MA Bear spirit. Walk and roll is coming Wednesday, October 6th, but you don't have to wait to seek alternative transport to school. Driving is so pre-pandemic. Walk, take the bus, and if you decide to bike, be sure to stay safe and wear a helmet. You've only got one brain. Protect it while saving the earth. MA Leadership is collecting costumes for the Trick or Treat Street, an annual event at MA for children under the age of 12 to celebrate Halloween by trick or treating and playing Halloween themed games on MA campus. By donating, you will be able to provide fun costumes for kids to wear at the Trick or Treat Street to donate, bring a costume to B21. We have a double feature guest spot here for you all today. In a moment, Jason DeHaaf from Leadership is here to get you pumped for Latin American Culture Day. But first, MA Zen Den is a fantastic new feature on campus for students. If you're having a tough time in class or during breaks, come to B22 to get yourself centered again. Here's Ms. Hattel and Ms. Nickerson with more on our stress-free oasis in B22. Hey Bears, welcome to the Zen Den. I am Miss Nickerson, the Mental Health Support Specialist here at MA. And I'm Jennifer Huddle. I'm the Intervention Counselor and 504 Coordinator. And we are here to tell you about our student support services and mental health services available to you. And we are coming to you straight from the Zen Den in B22. So as you can see, we've got some comfy couches and chairs. We've got a little therapeutic coloring area. We've got a punching bag over here. We've got some light noise with some other massage chairs and some stress balls and a yoga ball. So there's lots of stuff for you to decompress if you need a moment, if you're feeling a little anxious, feeling a little angry and need to punch it out, whatever you need, come on down. Also, to this year, we have Star Vista here for you. So if you ever need some mental health support or someone just to talk to, you can come check in at B22 and they'll find someone to talk to you. We also have our managing stress group this year happening on Wednesdays during flex time and lunch. So every Wednesday, flex time and lunch, B22, we will have our managing stress group. In October, on Wednesdays, Ms. Nickerson and myself will be delivering to you social emotional learning 30 minute sessions where we will be talking about grit, determination, study skills, and all the things to help you be more successful student at MA. Uh, we'll do that once a month, and then two weeks from then, we'll be sending you some follow-up resources from which you can interact with, and then come to the Zen Den to process. So we'll be holding the Wednesday sessions live during Flex, and then the next day, we'll be holding sessions here to follow up. So more information will be on the um, MA Bears website, and we will put out some information to your school email. This month, September, is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. This year has been very stressful for students and staff alike. So we invite you to come here if you're feeling overwhelmed by your academics, by your social life, by family issues, anything that you may be struggling with. We invite you to come here and open up to us and let us know how you're doing. Importantly as well, we want you to come to us if you feel that you know a student or a family member or someone who is at risk, and we can give you information and resources on how to help. There is someone always here in the Zen Den periods one through six, and I'm here after school, and so is Ms. Nickerson. If you do come to the Zen Den, we ask that you have a pass. So teachers and students, you must have a pass for your student and students to enter the Zen Den. When you come here, we will have you scan in with your phone, a QR code, and that helps us follow up with you and track when you're here, and then also verify your attendance. So please, when you're walking through those doors, if you are upset and having a bad day, it's fine, but teachers and students, please come with a pass. And if you don't have a phone, it's okay. We got you covered with a Chromebook. All right. Be well, Bears. Be well, Bears. Hello, MA. I am Jason from Leadership, and I've got a few super duper special announcements for you this Friday morning. I will start with what a reminder that we have a football game at home at seven o'clock. The theme 
is Blackout in support of our March for Melanoma. We'll be selling eye black, spirit wear, and other items at the game to raise funds. I expect you to be there. In other exciting news, be at the water polo game at lunch. It'll be super fun. Now, there have been a few problems in the operation of our beloved student store. It will be closed today and will not be opening on Monday either. Y ahora, en español. Hoy vamos a celebrar la cultura latinoamericana. Para celebrar, tacos y horchata estarán disponibles para comprar en el G-Wing durante almuerzo. Además, vamos a bailar a reggaeton. Habla con sus maestros de español para obtener puntos de extra crédito. Por favor, llevas cinco dólares al almuerzo para comprar tacos. Now, for our English speaking and maybe our bilingual or trilingual or, you know, so on friends, Today, we will be celebrating Latin American culture. We will sell tacos and horchata during lunch. We will also dance to reggaeton. Talk to your Spanish teachers about possible extra credit opportunities. And please remember to bring $5 for tacos. That is all I have for you all today. Now, I hope to see you at all of the events, the water polo game, the football game, Latin American independence that I just talked about. All right, I'll see y'all later. Now, now on this day in U.S. history, today in 1789, the Judiciary Act is passed by Congress and signed by the President George Washington, establishing the Supreme Court of the United States as a tribunal made up of just six justices who are to serve on the court until death or retirement. How many Supreme Court justices do we have now? None. Huh, I guess not everything is written in stone. We hope you have learned something. Take care of yourself. I'm Jay Sean. And I'm Bella. Have a great weekend. See you at the game. Yeah.